This t-shirt makes me look fat. It's Vlad's closet tour or Waxen's closet tour. That's where we find ourselves today in this small corner of a room in my small flat in Cambridge in front of the doors of my closet. Before we open and dive into this insanity that is my closet, don't forget to share the video, subscribe, check the merch out, and let's go! I wanted to do this video because, as you will notice, a lot of my thumbnails seem like I wear only yellow, but that's because I have a lot of yellow tops. And you'll see, starting it with actually just <laughs> this top. So this is a top that uh, my godmother got for me because I really liked her and I told her I need, need a lot of um, new tops actually. This is from Reserved. I've got a few clothes from Reserved. It's a good price. Uh, it's quite quite, quite good quality. I like them. I have not used it yet. I think I only literally used it for a thumbnail. I have yet to, remove the, to tear the... What do you think is this called? Tag. To, to tear the tag and use it. It's very hot outside, so obviously I'm not using it yet. So that's my first one. Lots of yellow about to come. Uh, that's what I can tell about my closet. It's lots of yellow and lots of uh, uh, university branded merch. So this is a top that I really liked when I bought, but I've always had a problem with it. Maybe I should try to put it on so you guys can see what I mean. My problem with this, it was always a good size for me, but it's always I'm struggling so much to put it beyond my neck. Should I put it on so you see what I mean? It's so hard to put my head through it. Uh, got it. So, this is one of the tops that I have. And if you look at my older videos, I were used to wear this top a lot because it's very comfy actually, other than the fact it's just, This is just a house t-shirt. I'm just, I don't even know if it's mine. I'm just wearing it as a pajama. It's blue, it's nice. I wear it for some videos. Cooking videos, because if it gets dirty, I don't care. Just a random t-shirt, I don't know where it is from. Oh yeah, the top I have on me right now is from, I'll tell, tell you when, when I'm gonna take it off. This is another, ooh, okay, two, two in ones. This is actually, I really like this shirt. I haven't worn it a lot of times, uh, just to some special-ish occasions. So I'm not very high-end galas, but just like, you know, I wanna wear a shirt and this is what I'm wearing. And boom, this is the shirt. It looks really cool in it. I really like it. It's it's pretty nice. It gives a lot of color. I used to not have a lot of color things in my uh, wardrobe, but and I used to, I, I wear a lot of my shirts like this. I just roll up the sleeves because it just you know you go to events and it's hot or it's warm outside and yeah. Um, usually I have double ones so that have color on both sides. This one looks a bit uncolored, so I probably turn the sleeve this way. Another house t-shirt. I, I just like to wear comfy large clothes in the house. There's plenty of them in my closet because that's why I just like to be very comfy in the house. So I was saying I didn't used to have a lot of uh, colored t-shirts because I used to wear like plain colors, black and white. This is the first uh, set of inscribed things that I have, a pair of shorts. Um, but since I've been doing a lot of more thumbnails on YouTube, I need a lot more colored things for me. The shirt that I wore for a very nice show I was part of, Mr. Burns a Post Electric Play. So this was the shirt I wore for Sideshow Bob and as you can tell I kept it as a souvenir. I like to keep souvenirs and posters from the shows I'm part of. See, boom, put it on. Hair goes crazy. That's it, Sideshow Bob. Just need to curl it up a bit more because Sideshow Bob has more of an afro. And that was it. I also wore this shirt for the 10,000 subscriber video this week. So yeah, if you haven't seen that one, check that one out. It's actually usually not in my closet, but it is now for the sake of the video. This is like a robe that I don't really wear that much. Next thing, what is here? White t-shirt, okay. <laughs> This is my waxen t-shirt. Another waxen t-shirt. <laughs> Pullover or a sweater. Uh, I've been having this sweater for like three years and I really like it. This one is uh, from, I, it says Cedar Cheddar Wood State. I don't know what that is, but I really like it. I would really recommend it. I wear this with uh, just a t-shirt underneath because I don't like the material, but I really feel warm in it, so it's really good. And now we're getting into the color, as you saw. So we started with a sweater going towards the tint of uh, t-shirt of yellow. Boom. The t-shirt that seems like I have in all the thumbnails, but I don't because I've got more of them. Again, just a casual yellow t-shirt. It doesn't even have a brand on it. I don't wear a lot of branding clothes. I don't see the point of spending money on a lot of uh, high-end brand clothes like Balenciaga's, Gucci's and things like that. This pair of pants, I think I've only worn twice. Once I wore it when I was in a holiday with Morgan and we went dancing. And like the other two times, I just don't remember. So yeah, I like these uh, pants, but I don't really use them because it says they're made in Cambodia. Boom, there we go. The pants, as you can see, they're not as tight as they used to be because I was on a diet uh, earlier this year, so I lost a bit of weight from my muscles, but now I'm getting back at it. I think they still look really good on me. I don't know, what do you think, Morgan? I think they look really good. They make yeah. your legs look good. Exactly. 
Uh, it definitely doesn't fit the, t the shirt, but it doesn't matter. See, it does. I could be like on the beach, holiday, look like a t-shirt from, from sports, volleyballs. This is a coat shirt. Uh, Pij pa pajama pants. What I like to call these, this is what I call hospital pajama pants. <laughs> Literally, that's what uh, in Romania you use wear if you go to the This is actually a good t-shirt. Fun fact about this, this is the only proof that I actually have that I was a scholar and high performance athlete at my university. I used to have a jacket but someone literally stole it and uh, yeah I didn't get one back so can we can we get something I know bring Vlad's jacket back can we get that bring Vlad's jacket back hashtag make it to training bring Vlad's jacket back if you're the one that stole my jacket please bring me back my jacket please thanks this is work shirt I've got a few of these as well. A different color. It's good to use it for thumbnails as well. Uh, student ambassador. I don't use it anymore because the, the crest is outdated. So now I just have it in here as a memory. Boom. This is a, not a... I really like this. So this is the first probably sweater I think I've had like three, four years ago. I didn't really used to be a sweater guy. And I liked it, but I told you it was kind of itchy. So this one i like a lot because this one isn't itchy as well it's soft i like the color it's kind of a dark color but it's still a bit light and also uh i don't have to wear it with anything underneath necessarily because it's not itching my skin i usually put something but i don't have to another shirt so this one i really like this is from grazie filippetti apparently it's kind of a dark uh, aquamarine or whatever you call this color and it has next to the buttons right here uh, as you can see it has a small flower thing. It's about the details. So one advice that I tell a lot of people in my life It's about the details that make it count. It's about details. That's what makes it very very important This is just a hanger that I have a lot of sh sh shirt and shirt. This is a Lacoste shirt This shirt is just I don't know, just shirts and shirts on top of one another again another white shirt So this is uh, very similar to the one that I heard you uh, show you from Italy before again a Grazie Filippe the same company you can see Again, the small flowers on the white shirt. So I have the one on the aquamarine and this also on the plain white. Again, just a tint that's standing out. And here, if I do twist my, uh, if I twist my sleeve, like I told you, it has flowers. I told you it's both sides. It's pretty cool. Underneath, just a plain black one. I really don't like this one. I don't think I've ever worn this one, actually. I don't like the extra things attached to it. It's a thing of preference. I don't even know where it is from. I should probably get rid of it. A pair of shorts. I like these shorts. They're not really my style, but they fit me nicely. I wore them a bit this summer. What else is in my closet? Okay, okay. I told you about yellow. <laughs> I have yet. No, I think I wore these the other day. Uh, they're a new pair. They're also from, they're not from Reserve. They're from Primark. See, I'm, I'm buying things from Primark. They're just phenomenal. Like, like if I, tell me they wouldn't match this shirt. It's, it's the problem. I'm not gonna put it on top. Don't do this, kids. I'm just doing it for the sake of the video. This is phenomenal. Okay, oh, here I have hanging, actually, uh, what we call a men purse, I guess. It's really practical. It's good when you just go for a walk around. I don't like carrying bags with me. That's the thing about me. I just don't like carrying heavy stuff. Oh, let's go to the heavy artillery. This, this is Dan Black's coat. So as you probably, if you remember, if you're a long time viewer, Dan Black is one of the people that host videos on this channel. You should go and check those videos out. And this is his coat. I've got several ties. I don't use them that often because I don't get events. Like I, before I started university, I used to have a lot more uh, times to go to, to events. This is one of my favorite ties, a gold tie. I haven't, uh, I tried to clean it for years and I finally managed to clean it this year. I wore this tie at my prom in the 12th grade. I just love it. It's a great tie style. It's a great uh, color. I just, I love it. Boom, another t-shirt that's kind of the same color, but not really. It's the tone of my skin matches nicely from Ch Cheddar Wood State, made in India. Right here at the bottom, I'll gonna, I'm gonna, going to take out a stack of what we call uh, the sports guy's uh, <laughs> backpack. So in here I have a Nike hoodie that attests that I am the high education volleyball officer uh, for my university and in, in the UK. This is just uh, another uh, hospital pyjama. I don't know why I have so many hospital pyjamas. That's a bit odd if you ask me. This is a pair of jeans that's probably not mine. That's very good to know. Mom! Oh, I wondered where this went. This is one of my favorite black t-shirts. It's a gym t-shirt, but it's the same. You got the point. This is the first year kit I had from Angular Ruskin University. Number six, it's my number. They retired the kit, so I feel, I hope no one has any problem. If you saw it, I'm sorry. Subscribe, buy the merch. <laughs> Just a random polo shirt with stripes. It shouldn't be on camera because we're filming. 
random polo shirt. It's pretty cool. It's nice. It's really tight lately. I don't think I can wear it anymore. Great t-shirt. Okay, this t-shirt makes me look fat. That's why it was at the bottom of the pack. Like, I'm not fat. I don't know fat. Mm. One of my favorite t-shirts is a Dota 2 t-shirt. So this is Techie's a Dota 2 character. I'm a big fine fan gamer. If you want to see some gaming, just tell me in the comments below to do some gaming. Uh, again, another, uh, another shirt that I have as a memory. I don't even know where this is from. If you know what this logo is, it, it says it's a fish. I don't know what that company is. I don't want to know. This is the shirt that I wore at my eighth grade prom, so when I finished elementary. I haven't worn this shirt in, what is it, seven, eight years now? But it's just, it's just a beautiful memory. And just in case you haven't figured, so I had this in my eighth grade prom, and as a memory of that, that's why I had the golden tie when I graduated prom. So probably now with my university graduation, I'm gonna have a smaller item, golden style, to like complete the journey. Yeah, that's kind of the pattern I'm going for. Hope you enjoy this. Uh, there's more stuff. I've got some drawers as well. Maybe like next year we're gonna do another What's in Vlad's closet if I get more stuff. Hope you enjoyed taking a quick peek of what I have and where in my life. And now you understand I don't only have yellow t-shirts. I only do have yellow t-shirts. Buy the merch. That's not yellow. Actually, there's a lot of yellow merch. You can buy the yellow merch. Subscribe, stay hydrated, and see it more whatever I do. I post videos every day.